Okay, getting ready to head over to the first showing I have today. This one is for a house that has potential to buy in El Cajon. Um, it's about like 1,300 square feet. It looks really cute on the exterior. It has a yard, it has a garage. So it has a great interior also. Um, I'm really hoping that I don't just fall in love with it because this would be my first time buying a home and I'm still a little intimidated by the idea. And then second after that, I have a quick trip I need to make to a rental that is maybe close by to it. It's like this house that looks like it's isolated on the hill. Um, it's $1,800 a month. I am definitely still considering renting as my priority because buying seems like it might not be the right time to do it. But I will just see for myself what I think is best. Um, I feel like I will try to be patient in finding the right place to live because I do have time. There's no rush. The only thing that is making me anxious is the situation I have here. I have a lot of annoying moments where I feel like, oh, when is the next person going to come to my balcony? Stuff like that. And then I have to deal with neighbors I don't really like. So, all right, I gotta head out. <laughs> Since there was a terrible line out the door yesterday and I did not get my bubble tea, I may have made a quick little detour here before I went to the house showing. Um, it is actually supposed to be cloudy today and the sun is out so I am in a great mood and I am so excited to see this house. Hi guys, I am here early to my second rental location and since I was stupid and I chugged my medium bubble tea, I really need to pee and the person who is coming to show me the place is five to 10 minutes away. So I am trekking around the neighborhood to find somewhere that I can squat and do my business. I know it's not the greatest situation to be in, but I hate that urgency to pee. I really need to go. Um, I have some wet wipes with me, don't worry. Um, but <laughs> where I parked is at the base of a hill, which is where this house little cottage thing is located and there's a gate there so I can't actually go to the house just yet and there is a woman that lives at the base of the hill so she was sitting outside and she was pretty much probably watching me so I couldn't just find somewhere right around my car to go so here I am walking around the neighborhood to see if I could find some privacy um, sorry if that's too much information but just a quick recap on the house I just saw. So I wasn't too fond of the neighborhood. I think I definitely had an idealistic view of what I was expecting. For some reason, I have this really flawed perception, I think, or unrealistic where I think of stuff like my parents' neighborhood. Oh God, so earlier was actually really embarrassing. I was recording along the side of the road and then a car started approaching, so I stopped. But basically, I actually went into the side to some brush and I was literally trying to find some privacy because I really needed to go to pee. But then the woman that I was going to see the house from, she called me and she was the car that drove past me. So she was like, is that you? Where are you? And basically I had to go back and it seemed pretty awkward because I was like walking out of some grassy area and then she gave me a ride back to my car we drove up the hill and so this house is right next to their own main residence that was a little concerning to me originally because i've never lived super close to my landlord i actually think my parents wouldn't be too thrilled about it because they think it's unsafe but they seem like really nice people um the place itself is not that big it's just like a little house, kind of guest house, right next to their main one. Um, it has a yard. They are planting grass in it right now, so it's all dirt, but it's actually a pretty decent size. I mean, it's not long enough for Riley to really run full speed, but she can still do a little bit of damage. Um, it is just at the top of this hill. The view is so beautiful. I think I would love that view. Um, their house is actually gorgeous as well. They built it themselves, apparently. So something I've always been concerned about living out here in the country, 
well, it's not so much the countryside, but it's definitely not the city, um, is that most of these houses tend to look really shitty, but theirs is gorgeous. And they have, I honestly think they have such a great life set up right now. Um, of course, the roads leading up to this place, there is paved roads, and then there's a section of a dirt road that is a bit bumpy, but then going up the hill to their house is paved very nicely. It's just windy, so you have to go up pretty slow. They do have a gate at the bottom, so there can't be any trespassers. People won't just show up in my yard that don't belong there. That's going to be great. Um, but yeah, I did tell them that I was a little concerned about privacy because they live so close, but they said... You know they're busy they have their own lives they're not gonna just come and bother me because I was a little concerned that they would just show up unannounced but I don't think that should be a problem so this property is definitely one I'm interested in the main problem is I have to give 30 days notice and they want someone to live here as soon as possible which I understand completely because me and my dad were looking for someone to rent out our condo and when they wanted, you know, a month out, that's a lot of rent money that they are missing out on. So it would suck to lose this opportunity. I'm not 100% sure that I want to live here yet because the commute would be 30 minutes without traffic. And I would be going into the office at like, I don't know, 7 in the morning. I would leave here at 6.30. I might check traffic this week um, with this address just to see what it would be like. But another thing to consider is that if I do live out here, a motorcycle might be something I invest in because of the traffic. Um, come to think of it, I'm a little nervous about that downhill uh, road that I have to go on on a motorcycle. I've not, I haven't driven on roads like that before on a motorcycle. I know I have to go slow, but sharp turns might still be a little concerning. Plus with that steep of a hill if you kind of run into issues or if you lose your balance I don't know maybe these are things I don't have to worry about but anyways it is time to head back and maybe I'll just search for a few other places just to see maybe searching only for houses isn't the most realistic thing for me right now um I do want that yard I do want the house with a lot of space that's another thing their nearest neighbor is like over an acre away or something that's amazing that's the life I want to live but yeah I think it might be smart to consider looking at some apartments and townhomes or something like that in the city because a yard would be nice but at my age or in my current situation it might not be something that I really absolutely need so I just need to keep my options open. I can't tunnel too hard on the ideal living situation. But yes, okay, I'm going to drive home now. Yeah, go on, right here, right here. Oh my gosh. Tilting head, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Right here is fine. Yep, yeah. mm-hmm, good. Oh my god. Come on, pups. Good. So, I have not been the best dog mom recently because I haven't given her something to chew in a while. In the past at New Jersey, I had toy chews and I didn't really like those for some reason. It just felt like maybe they were chewing unnatural stuff. And then when I moved here, I started feeding her raw food. So I decided to get her raw bones also. But the thing is, raw bones are a little pricey for me right now to get often, especially if I wanted to give them to her daily. Sorry about Milo, he's trapped in jail, so he's not very pleased right now. But yeah, so basically they are also really messy. So with raw bones, I had to put like a little tablecloth thing over her cot and let her have it on there, but I didn't actually like the idea of having her chew on her cot because the cot is supposed to resemble calmness and just chilling out. And if she's chewing it on there, it kind of contradicts that in a sense. So 
I decided to buy this eight braided bully stick recently. She had some bully sticks, single ones at home for a while, but um, they do tend to still be a little bit on the expensive side. I think this one is $13. So I kind of hope she doesn't get through it too fast. I don't plan on giving it to her um, without any limit. Like for example, every day, I might give it to her for one to two hours, just depending. Like it might be a good thing for her to do while I'm watching a movie, but it does actually make me happy to see her so engaged in something like this again, because it's been a while since I've given her something to chew and I feel bad, so it's good. I am home now and it's a nice day out. Yes, it is still sunny, so I'm trying to figure out where I want to go for a basic hike, but it's really hard to find a bite basic hike. Blech. <laughs> it's really hard to find a basic hike that I can take Riley on and that there won't be many people around. That isn't too far. Normally my places that I like to go is one hour away and I'm not really sure I want to drive that far, so... Oh man, it's... I don't know if I can get every single requirement in if I want to find somewhere local. So we'll see how that works out. Hello there. We are on the trail, on the way. Look at that view. It's beautiful, isn't it? So the, I guess the issue with this trail is that yes, there are a lot of people. So letting her off leash is not the most ideal. And as you can see ahead, there's another woman with dogs. I don't like coming across anybody with dogs because yes, like I mentioned, they will be reactive and it's just a an unpleasant experience, but this view is beautiful. And yes, I need to have her leash, so she's just walking calmly next to me. She doesn't need to be in a heel or anything, so she's great because she just walks right next to me with a loose leash. It doesn't create any stress for me. But of course, it would make me happy to let her free, set her loose. But it's a beautiful day and I'm actually very happy to be here. Get my cutie. Such a beautiful area. Good job. Hi, hello from Mission Trail. It's so nice out over here. Um, yeah, so it's basically like a road you can see behind me and we're just walking along it. I did not get too far, about a mile in, and now I'm starting to feel a little something in my kneecap, my left kneecap. It's nothing extreme, um, but it's, I feel something. So I decided to turn back around. I don't want to push it. The idea is just to go on really easy hikes just so I'm not doing stretches the whole time, I kind of have to challenge it a little bit. But yes, since I feel something, I'm going to head back, but I wasn't here very long, but I do think that it was a nice choice to come out here. Um, I didn't want to just stay home, uh, but it's nice to be in nature. It's very peaceful. It's, there's nothing that can stress you out. It's, there's a breeze, there's all these plants, wildlife around you and then I also have this one with me so what could go wrong when I have such a cute puppers with me right Rila? Good. Wow I thought you were gonna ignore me for a second huh? <laughs> Hi just got back from the grocery store. I pretty much spent a good amount of my latter half of the afternoon applying for jobs and then looking for houses to rent or buy it is actually a really stressful process because I am trying to find a place that fits a lot of my requirements, but there are times where you really have to figure out what you are willing to sacrifice based on the price point, the distance to work, all of those factors. But hopefully I am able to find a remote job sometime soon. That way where I actually end up living doesn't matter. And I won't have to do certain things like wake up at 6 a.m. to come into work or buy a motorcycle to commute to work. Buying a motorcycle though is probably something I will do eventually, but it wouldn't be as urgent for me to do. Anyways, I just got back from Ralph's, the grocery store here in San Diego. 
I don't know if there's any on the East Coast. I assume there isn't because I've never heard of it until I moved here. But I figured I would just show what I bought even though it's nothing special. Okay, let's see what I got. First, rotisserie chicken. I love the chicken leg. I think it's the best part of the chicken. The breast is very dry. I'm not a big fan of it, but chicken overall is great protein. And this is roughly $8 and it usually gives me like four meals of meat, which I think is a great deal. So I try to get it every week if possible, but if I start getting sick of it, then I decide to skip it. So normally I don't really buy junk food very often, but for some reason this week I kind of went overboard. I definitely think I went overboard. So first off, Smart Food Popcorn. This is one of my favorite snacks. I can snack on this bag. There are times where I am close to finishing a bag in one day, so that's not good, but this is one of my favorites. Next up is Lay's Garlic Cheesy Bread. This is pretty good, but I think there are times where the saltiness of chips makes it so that I get kind of sick of snacking on these pretty quickly. Hopefully I don't finish these both this week. I'm going to try to still like limit myself because it's just a lot of calories and I don't want to just eat a lot of snacks even though there are times where I do miss it. Next, I have more Hot Pockets. I think the main reason I bought these was because I had a coupon, but I also do just really like them. Uh, for a meal, it's definitely not enough. There are times where I just eat one and then I'm very hungry after four hours. Um, for, I remember when my mom made me eat these when I was younger and I hated them, but now for some reason I really like them. So I feel bad for being stingy when I was younger. Next, I have Chobani Flips. This is like the tastier version of Greek yogurt. I really can't do the fruit on the bottom Chobani's. Greek yogurt is supposedly better, but yeah, I buy those and I just don't eat them because they don't... I have no motivation to eat them. But these, this one is my favorite flavor. It is banana with uh, a dip, well no, it's basically banana with honey roasted salted almonds and dark chocolate and it's called Nutty for Nana. So this one's very good, but they do tend to be more pricey than, you know, regular yogurt like Yoplait. I got these two for three dollars. Next I have eggs, 12 pack. Sometimes for a single person like me, I admit that six eggs could be enough. I think I don't eat eggs enough to buy 12 and use it throughout the week. And I have this bad habit when it comes to my idea of food freshness. I think I may have said that in the wrong order, but anyways, usually when I have stuff sitting in the fridge for close to a week, I start thinking that it's no good to eat anymore, it's not fresh, and that it's probably disgusting. But for some vegetables or even eggs, it can last a decent amount of time, but me having that perception makes it so that I lose the desire to use that as an ingredient to cook with. So then they kind of become a waste and I throw them out. So eggs though, I mean, eggs are great, hard boiled, I love it. And then I just usually do scrambled. I do very basic eggs. I never do anything fancy with them. So eggs are always good. And then I have some this is what I call easy preparation meat. I usually just cut some up and put them in the oven. Then we have some zucchini. Broccoli, one of my favorite vegetables. It's just a little more time consuming compared to other ones because when I cook these, the way my mom taught me to make them was basically oil and then you put in some garlic. I always use fresh garlic. I never use like pre-chopped or the kind in jars or whatever it's called. So I put oil, then I put garlic, then I cut these up into smaller pieces. I put them in and then I add a bit of water and then I cover it 
so the water helps to soften the broccoli and then at the end I just put some salt and I think it tastes amazing like that. I never steam my broccoli just because I think it turns out not tasting so great. Carrots. More potatoes. I was aiming to not buy potatoes this week so I could eat some other stuff but I just decided to get them just in case I wanted to mix them in with stuff and honestly potatoes aren't really that bad for you so it's not a bad purchase it's just that I've been eating potatoes for three weeks now and thought I might be sick of it I then also have canned corn um, for some reason I feel like I have more I feel like I'm more drawn to brands that are not this one. I don't really know if it matters, but I don't actually have a can opener right now, so I have to buy ones with the tops where you can just easily open them. And then last, we have this. So this was why I was saying that I kind of bought too much junk this week. Normally I buy no junk or I just buy this, but since I have two bags of snacks and this, definitely can't have them all this week. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably going to have a little bit of this tonight and eat some basic dinner like some chicken and maybe a hot pocket. I haven't been cooking as much as I'd like lately, but at least with the easier meals that I've been making, I think that I haven't been going too far unhealthy. So since it's a weekend, I didn't want to cook. I've had a pretty long day. I've been out um, for a lot of it. I went to see the showing and then I went to the grocery store and then, <laughs> oh, and I went hiking. So three times in one day is a lot that I normally don't handle. So don't want to put in more effort. I want to just sit down and relax and watch a movie, but yeah, hopefully everybody had a great weekend and now we have another week coming up. I do actually have a holiday on Friday for whatever it is, so I'm happy about that. I might take a day off to make that into a four day weekend. So yeah, got some great things coming up. Maybe I'll go hiking and try something more challenging. We'll see. Goodbye.